There won't be a quarterback controversy in Seattle this offseason as new head coach Mike McDonald told NFL reporter Tom Pelissero this past weekend that he doesn't anticipate a quarterback competition this offseason between Geno Smith and Sam Howell. Because of these comments, Seattle Seahawks fans have been really upset because you see how Geno Smith regressed last year in 2022, the dude had one of the best touchdown to interception ratios in the National Football League. He was the league's most accurate deep ball thrower. And then he gets paid. He gets a big contract extension. And all of a sudden, he goes from not riding back at all to doing nothing but riding back. But the problem with the Seattle Seahawks isn't really... Because of Geno Smith not being that good. A large reason why Seattle missed the playoffs last year is because their defense sucked. This defense has been abysmal ever since Cam Chandler and the Legion of Boom have disassembled. When you think about the Seattle Seahawks, when they were at their best, it never was because of Russell Wilson. It was because they had a great defense and a good supporting cast around Russell Wilson. When Russell Wilson started playing at an MVP level and he was playing at his best in the later years that he was in Seattle, they didn't have a good defense and they didn't have a good team around them. And everybody was saying how Russ needed more. Geno Smith, with the contract that he's getting paid, you don't have to allocate a large percentage of your salary cap to being able to make sure that you can put a championship caliber team around Geno Smith. Geno Smith, I still believe, is good enough to lead Seattle on a deep playoff run. When you look at the best quarterbacks in the NFC, there's only one or two of them that you can look at and say, yeah, they're elite quarterback. Brock Purdy and Matthew Stafford. And after that, it's up for debate at that point. At that point, you're pretty much arguing, you know, who are your good enough quarterbacks that you could potentially make a deep playoff win or make a deep playoff run with, which quarterbacks are going to have to need a good supporting cast to go further in the postseason than others. Geno Smith is in that third tier. He's a quarterback that he's not a Jared Goff or a Brock Purdy that if you give him a great team, you know that you're going to get consistent MVP high-level quarterback play from. He's one of those quarterbacks that if you give him a good supporting cast around him and you don't ask him to do too much, you just ask him to manage the game, he can win games for you. But if you ask Geno Smith to carry your team to a win, it's going to be something that is going to be hard for him to do because he's not one of those quarterbacks that's going to be able to wield you to a win on a week-to-week -week basis. He may be able to lead you from a comeback win every once in a while, or he may be able to win you ball games, throwing the ball 40, 50 times, one or two times a season. But if you're looking for a guy who's going to be able to elevate your team and elevate the players around him and make everybody look better, that's not what Geno Smith is. For Seattle this year, in the draft, it would make the most sense instead of trying to target a quarterback of the future this year to just continue to improve the offensive line, improve that defense. And then next year, when you want to take a stab at trying to find your QB one of the future, you have a way better team that is better suited for a young quarterback to come in and have immediate success. You can blame Geno Smith for how he played in big games like the Cincinnati Bengals game early in the season last year where late in the fourth quarter, the dude just fell apart. But you also have to give a fair amount of criticism to how bad the offensive line for Seattle was this year. And I thought that their offensive line was going to be one of the best in the NFL in 2023. And it was a major disappointment. And it's not that their offensive tackles were bad. It's that the interior of their offensive line was abysmal. Like, their interior offensive line got absolutely destroyed several times last season. You can't put that all on Geno Smith. If you are a quarterback 
that specializes in being able to throw the deep ball accurately and effectively downfield, you need time to do that. Geno Smith didn't get as much time to throw the deep ball in 2023 compared to what he was getting in 2022. Seattle's offensive line, in my opinion, took a major step back last season. And until that offensive line gets fixed, which has been a big problem with that franchise for nearly a decade now, it doesn't matter who the hell you get back there at quarterback. The teams that go the furthest in the postseason are the teams that get the best trench play. If you don't have great offensive line play, you got damn near Tom Brady or Patrick Mahomes back there, you're still only going to go so far. Geno Smith is good enough for Seattle to be a playoff team this year. Do you not know how well Seattle has drafted the last three years? They're one of the best drafting franchises in the NFL right now. They have absolutely killed the draft. And there's no reason to suspect that they won't do the same this year. There's no need to go after a quarterback if you're Seattle. You already have Sam Howell. Sam Howell, you let him sit for a year behind Geno Smith, or maybe if Geno Smith just doesn't play that good this year around week six, week seven, you can go ahead and make that quarterback change. But right now, going into this season, I haven't seen anything out of Geno Smith's play last year that shows me, yeah, like we really need to get rid of this guy like ASAP, ASAP. I saw a quarterback in Geno Smith last year that played like a guy who potentially could be replaced if you can find a suitable replacement for him at that moment. But since Seattle doesn't have that, you don't have a guy right now who you could go trade for and get and say, oh yeah, this guy's just an outright upgrade over Geno Smith. Does it piss you off how much you pay for your monthly phone bill? Why are you getting frustrated when our partner Mint Mobile has plans as low as $15 a month that give you unlimited talk and text on the nation's largest 5G network? Stop getting frustrated with how much you spend on your monthly phone bill and go to trymintmobile.com slash JT Sports in description and pin comment down below to get access to premium wireless for only $15 a month. That's only $15 a month. Month. Switching to Mint is easy. It only takes 15 minutes to do. If you're pissed off with how much you pay for your monthly phone bill, switch to Mint Mobile today and go to trymintmobile.com slash JT Sports in the description and pin comment down below to get premium wireless for only $15 a month. Stop getting upset with how much you spend on your monthly phone bill and switch to Mint Mobile today. Until you find that, it would be in your best interest to roll with Geno Smith because you can definitely do a lot worse than Geno Smith. Have you not seen Daniel Jones? Did you not see Russell Wilson last year? Hell, did you not see Mac Jones and Zach Wilson? If the New York Jets had Zach Wilson last year, they possibly could have been a 9-1 team. Maybe they would have snuck in as a 7 seed. Same thing with the Las Vegas Raiders. Geno Smith definitely has to be replaced but he doesn't need to be replaced right now you feel me Seattle can wait to replace Geno Smith when a better replacement comes along and maybe his replacement definitely is Sam Howe it may not be the right time for Sam Howe to start yet sitting behind Geno for a few weeks maybe a season would do Sam Howe a lot of justice and give him time to think about how to become a better decision maker with the football. Sam Howell has a lot of upside, but right now I wouldn't take him over Geno Smith just because he's just so reckless. At least with Geno Smith, you have a guy who you can trust to take care of the football. After the 20-something interceptions that I saw Sam Howell throw in 2023, he needs to sit on the bench. And before he gets his opportunity, he has to show this coaching staff in Seattle that he can take care of the football. He can be an effective quarterback at moving the ball downfield while doing it, minimizing mistakes. Geno Smith, for all of the flack that Seahawks fans have to say about him, at least you have a guy who can take care of the football, who can effectively lead you downfield at times as long as you have a good team around them. I thought that Seattle was a dark horse Super Bowl contender last season. I thought that Geno Smith was going to pick up right where he left off in 2022, and that didn't happen. 
But I don't think it all was because Geno just sucks water through a garden hose. I just think that the team that Seattle thought they were going to have last season just wasn't as good as what they thought. And the offensive line didn't do him any favors. He is an older guy. He is going to start regressing. And the next couple of years, his arm strength is going to go down. His mobility is going to go down also because he is up there in age. But Geno Smith, there's no reason for him to be replaced right now. The Seattle Seahawks have way more bigger issues that they need to worry about outside of trying to find who's going to be the future at quarterback. And year one under Mike McDonald, you could be not just a playoff team, but maybe you could be one of those teams that maybe you win a game or two because the roster is talented enough to do so. I thought that Seattle had a good enough roster where they could have challenged for the West last year. You got good receivers. You got a really talented young defense. All you need is a bright defense of mind like Mike McDonald to have that defense playing up to its potential. Offensively, this offense has been a middle-of-the-road offense for the last three, four years just because they haven't gotten great offensive line play. And until the offensive line play improves and it stops being a problem for Seattle, I don't see how they ever are going to make it far in the playoffs. Because even when you had Russell Wilson, you still weren't going that far in the playoffs outside of his earlier years up there. Until this offensive line improves, there's no reason for Geno Smith to be replaced. There definitely are a lot better quarterbacks right now than Geno Smith, but not a lot of them are available. And there definitely are way worse quarterbacks than what Geno Smith is.